In 1946, Don Cordner had emulated dual winner Ivor Warren Smith by winning the first post-war Brownlow medal by a vote from Carlton's Jack Howell and Richmond's Bill Morris. In 1998, the MCC hosted a luncheon for the survivors of the 1948 grand final campaign, the Essendon and Melbourne champions who figured in one of the greatest final series in football history. We had already played Essendon three times and we had been soundly defeated each time. I said to Dick, this is our last shot at you, Dick. And Dick said, and I kid you not, unless it's a draw, Donald, unless it's a draw. On October the 2nd, 1948, Mueller did it again in the grand final. He would kick six, but the talking point was not so much Big Jack's accuracy, but Essendon's shocking inaccuracy. In that year, Essendon played Melbourne five times, and I think that is the only time, in fact, I'm sure that's the only time two teams have played each other five times. And also, Melbourne that year was the first time that any team had played 23 games. The Cordner name is one of the most revered at Melbourne. From brothers Harry in 1903 and Edward Senior in 1905, through to David in the mid-80s, it was a footballing dynasty. Ted's four sons, Don, Dennis, John and Ted, would all play for the Redlegs in the 40s and 50s. After the 1950 first semi-final loss to Geelong, Don would retire. That day, Dr Don had delivered a baby at Diamond Creek and barely arrived at the MCG in time to play. Cordner had played 166 games, won the 1946 Brownlow medal and captained the side to the 1948 Premiership.